Okay, um, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to separate your colors by um, using the custom option. Um, this gives you a little bit more control and might be better than having the computer do it manually for you. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. This is Savannah's artwork um, and it's her watercolor she did. She said that she used four colors. She used red, a gold, green, and brown. And then if you include the white background, I guess that's five colors. But for the four watercolors, I think I'm going to give each one um, three different colors. So like a dark, medium, and light shade. And let's see how that looks. So um, let's see, I'm going to go up to image mode. Um, you notice index color is grayed out. So we do need to click RGB first. We do have to flatten this image mode. Now we can do index color. Okay, so the video I followed <laughs> said go to local perceptual and type in two um, and then actually change to uncheck preview and then go to custom. Okay, so um, we can change these first two colors. I'm going to click the first one and just choose the background. So the background is the first color just to stay organized. Say okay, and the next color I'm going to start with the red. I'm going to do the darkest red that I can find. It's pretty dark. Okay. Then I'm going to click the next box. I'm going to go for a medium red. Okay. Then I'll click the next box and I'm going to go for a light red. That's good. I'll say okay. Great. Now I'm going to do green next. So I'm going to click the first box. I'm going to go for a dark green. Okay. I'll click the next box and I'm going to do a medium green. Okay. And I'll click the next box and I'm going to go for my light green, maybe that, maybe even up here. Okay. And that's quite a big difference. I might change my mind later, but I'll just go with it for now. Next, I'm going to do gold. Click that gold. And maybe I only do two golds. Not sure. Let's do a lighter one. These are pretty similar. I think I'll just start with two golds for right now. And then brown. So there we go. And the flowers. Okay. And then let's do a lighter version of the brown. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say okay. And let's hit preview. What am I losing? Yeah, this actually isn't bad. I'll say, okay, I got it down to 11 colors. Um, and you know, it, it's all, the pixels are all obviously separated here. So if this view bothers you, you can always go back to RGB and that's how it will actually print. Um, but here, if you go back to mode, index color, say okay, then this will give you access to the color table so that then you can actually make a couple other colorways. So doing the custom um, method might be easier and better, I'm realizing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys.